One of the things about woke is, Matt, can you explain it to your mom? Think about that. Well, can you? <laughs> can literally any of you? Because after all, that's the five. And they're obviously talking about this because Bethany Mandel absolutely flamed out and trying to define what she literally wrote a book about, the concept of woke. So I would ask literally any of you, can any of you define it on the five after preparing theoretically for this segment? And yet, as you're gonna find out, they can't, not specifically, but in attempting in a defensive fashion to argue that it's perfectly fine to use it even though you can't define it. They're also basically gonna define it the exact way we do, which I find fascinating, let's continue. The Democrats wanna get you in an argument where you're having to define, define wokeism as if the Webster's Dictionary is defining it. And that's not what it is, it, is, it, it, it could be a feeling, it could be a sense. And I wonder if Republicans or conservatives are going to have to define it more. She could be right. I don't know. This this will be tested. Well, that is great. So first of all, I love the hypothetical that Merriam-Webster might define it. First of all, it has defined it. You could Google that very easily as we did. They define it as awareness of and actively at being attentive to important societal facts and issues, especially issues of racial and social justice. It is an awareness of what's going on. I, I look, I would probably add more to that and say it is knowing what actually is true, but more importantly, caring what is actually true. Now that look at the end of the day isn't exactly how they use it, but when she says it's a sense, it's a feeling, that's what we're saying you mean by it. It's a sense that things are changing. It's a sense that not only people that look and act and probably worship exactly like you, have sex exactly like you, are the only important or valuable people in society. I believe that that is the deep seated sense that you're getting and that's what you're reacting to. And that seems to be how they're defining it as well, JR, what do you think? Yeah, that's the whole idea. Do you think they couldn't look this up? Do you think Dan Perino couldn't have found out what the Webster's Dictionary is since she brought up the Webster's Dictionary? Do you think they thought had any thought process about this before they went on air? Of course they did. They, I would assume they prepared at least five minutes before they went on, so at least had this thought process. So if you have it, you may say, you know, this is the Webster's Dictionary, but the thing is it can't really be defined because we have it and we apply it to everything, which is what many of their opponents have been saying. You apply it to anything you want to call it negative. So that then you can convince enough of your idiot supporters to think whatever that is, it must must be woke. Now, by the way, there are other reasons why they won't actually say what it is because then they'd have to stand by their belief that they're against it. Because everything that they say that's horrible is woke. So if you talk about general equality or actually talking about equity when it comes to our systems and the way that things have been and how they now are, you'd have to openly say, I'm for this biased, unjust, white supremacist system that still has many teeth in it. So if you have to actually stand by that, you can't continue to lie and say, yo, I'm all about equality. This country is totally equal and fair and just in everything that we do, because that's the lie. In order to continue to carry that lie, you have to deny the truth. So when someone brings up the truth, which is that that is not the case, you then have to argue some of those actual elements of these 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 systems that we have in place. And once you start doing that, you will lose. So you have to start acting like you have no idea what people are talking about and just label everything woke. The problem is, is they overplayed it. Because you know, once you say it this many times, people have to finally start responding going, do you know what the hell you're talking about? Yeah. And the answer obviously is yes, but I don't want to say. Yeah, all of this, all of this is designed to let them sort of say something that they desperately want to say, but no, they can't specifically say. That's that's all it is. Uh, and so it remains a sense or a feeling. Yeah, <laughs> what's the sense or feeling that means that we can't identify that Rosa Parks was black? <laughs> what's the sense that you have that leads to that? I think we can probably figure it out. I don't think you want us to. Look, at the end of the day, this is all very simple. Uh, and other people have pointed this out probably more in a more articulate fashion than I will. In every decade, there need to be terms to get across a specific sort of thing. And what that is, is that you need to understand that people who don't feel empathy or don't want to feel empathy, don't like that other people feel empathy. And so they need to figure out an attack that makes those with empathy the bad guys. And that's what bleeding hearts were, or hippies were, or in a racial sense, people who were race traitors or, or who had white guilt. Inward lovers, being Let's keep it real. That's what they What's called that? those folks, inward lovers, except they used yeah. the actual word. Say it, yeah. it's okay, that's what they did, sorry. 
Yeah, I, I don't want to, but I, I get what you're I saying. You. Um, you're the bad one for having the empathy. Oh, and also uh, these same people want to say misogynistic things and homophobic things and racist things, but they don't feel comfortable doing that. So they need to come up with a way to do it that is okay. And so now it's wokeness or it's being against cancel culture before it used to be PC or whatever. There always has to be these same terms. So that when Lauren Boebert is watching the Super Bowl and a black person is singing, I just want to say that I hate this, but I can't literally type how dare a black person sing. So I say the Super Bowl is woke. Look, I'm not a bad person because I was vague. That's all any of this is, JR. 100%. Uh, also, thug, you know, whenever they talk about something yep. that's happening, look at those thugs over there because we know what that means. We, saw, we, know. we know coded language. You know how this whole thing works. And by the way, one, one thing I will disagree on you said uh, they don't feel comfortable saying it. They do in private, they don't yes. feel comfortable saying it in public. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.